it is quite obvious that Yole Duke knows no other way to get to May than to profess thick love. You know how some narcissistic people, cunning people, will try to snake their way into your life. They want to come back. And at times they might um, use emotional blackmail as a weapon. They will try to remind you of those days and they want you to reflect on this to drag you back into the net that you escaped from. I am very sure that those that have walked this pathway before, they know what I'm talking about. That not all I am sorry is sincere and not all remember how we used to be please accept me back is for your good you know since they have tried several means probably diabolic means to get at you um, they have influenced people from their own wicked circle to oppress you to attack you once they realize that none of this worked the next step for them is to face you head to head but they are not going to do it aggressively they will want to you know lure you into this space of i am sorry um remember how it used to be in those days remember when we went under the tree remember when we went to the beach to the pool remember the first time we met at the market square they want to drag you back emotional blackmail emotional prison they want to drag you into that space so as to finish you i'm sure you know what i'm talking about you see me she's a human being like every other person we all have our weakness we have our strength but judy hosting made something clear and when we checked and we calculated we realized that yole doche and judy austin had been going in and out i mean they've been shifting each other's underwear for about 10 years now deduct 10 years from yule Duche's age from may's age and also deducting from their children's age it will tell you a lot now for you to come back and say remember in those days which days which days which days both of them did not get married when they were 16 they got married when they were in their 20s that range 20s thereabout that's when they got married they were dating and all of that. So if we deduct 10 years from it, there is nothing you want to remind anybody. After all, he made it clear through one of his proxy. Yola Duche, yeah, he made it clear that uh, he did not really want to marry May. It was the first pregnancy. Imagine such a man saying first pregnancy as if it was a miracle as if he, he he was under a spell he wanted to put me into that that condition of single mother at a very tender age it, it, it didn't work because his father was a friend to May's father he said it he said look this lady his father is my friend childhood friend so it's going to be difficult that was a saving grace that was what saved me yole doche never had anything good he never had good plans it's just that he has grown to to be 40 he has grown to that age where he is no longer under his father he is now you know in court a man of himself that is why he said to do what he did his father couldn't say much he could not say more because he knows that this dude he is hell bent on destruction long time if not because if not that we had to kind of uh you know package the whole thing and use father and mother authority on him but when he got the chance he started acting crazy listen to peter duchess interview we did analysis of that interview and i checked i looked i don't just listen to what people say i look at your mannerism when you are normal, I look at your mannerism when you're excited. I look at your, I look at a lot of this and I profile you. That's how I run 
most of these interviews, I look at them, I'm like, oh, hold on. When this man was excited, when this man got angry, when this man wanted to emphasize, when I watched, I realized that through Pete Doce, I realized that Yole Doce could not do what he wanted to do at the beginning, but there was no way out. He just, he, he just needed to kind of stay humble. Not until he had the opportunity. And his father concluded saying, when he wanted to go into politics, he did not even tell me. And I asked those that told me, and I said, is he mad? Like, seriously, what kind of child is this? His father never knew that Yule Duce has, uh, you know, meandered his way out of that uh, authority. So we, we got some news, some updates. Let me call it update. But before we proceed, like and share this video, tap on the thanks button. I really appreciate, I really appreciate, I mean, you, you are spoiling me. I mean, I really appreciate, I mean, spoiling me in a good way. Yeah, I really appreciate those that have used the thanks button, but super thanks. Yes, by tapping on that love icon, the thanks button, uh, by so, you, you, you'll you be able to encourage the channel. I mean, it's a great thing. It's a great thing for those who have bought super thanks super stickers and all of that i really appreciate i really appreciate uh, may you be replenished yes may you be replenished for returning subscribers and those that have been here i say thanks for returning and thanks for being here let us grow this channel to 100k we can do this yes we can do it let's grow it to 100k like and share this video as we proceed so Judy came up with this uh, ambassador brand, this and all of that nonsense a couple of hours ago. If you've not watched that video, please do. We did analysis on it. She came up with this because she's kind of, um, she wanted competition. That's what she wanted. She thought uh, May was going to involve herself in this, uh, you know, this low village uneducated uh, conflict between women when a man decides to bring them in this one is um, trying to shine this one is trying to outsmart this this one is trying to attack this one that that was a thought and i i'm kind of thinking yole doche probably told her certain things that uh, wired her mind to think that me was going to you see, when a man and a woman are together and the woman decides to just lay low and do her thing, you, you might think that that woman is nothing. A lot of people did not, you know, relate to me. I mean, people didn't really see her. She was not luminous. No one knows who she was apart from being wife of. <laughs> in fact, in life, you see, <laughs> no one knows who she was. So, maybe... Judy thought this was going to be that um, tug of war. But unfortunately, she didn't get that. And um, she tried all sort of whatever. And everything came crashing down. Yeah, everything came crashing down. If you wanted to be in polygamy, like I've always said about this polygamy of a thing, it is not something that is new. It is not even, you know, it's not something that you find only in Africa. It is something it's a human thing it's a human thing if you um, read the bible you see in islam it's something if, if you go to the u.s mormons go to tar in u.s they, they practice polygamy but the manner at which this man went about it and judy austin you want to slide into a home and you are doing it like and you sent your friend to start saying if you don't want to be numbered. Although she says she's repentant. I'm talking of Sarah Martins. She says she has repented. And you started going about it crazily. Even without praying. Without me praying. You cannot just come and uh, jump into someone else's marriage and think you will shine so easy. And I looked at you, Leduce. I said, if look at some of the kings. Some kings that... I mean, in Nigeria, they don't really have much in their kingdom and they want political influence. What some of them do is to get married to children, daughters of people who are connected in politics. Look at them. They know what they are doing. If they are going to be involved in polygamy, they are doing it for political connection. They are do doing it for money. They are doing it for that. You, Leduce, what did you do your own for? 
Because from what we know, Judy Osei has no job. She, apart from, <laughs> this is very funny. I've never seen this in my life. And you yourself, you are not that wealthy, 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 like you're so, I don't know, maybe you had some couple of millions in your account, you got endorsement back then, and you thought that's it. It never occurred to you that this is not going to work. You felt that your rich friends will applaud you because you know what they do. But they are smarter than you. Regardless of what they do out there, they make sure that their home is kept like stronger than Asso Rock protection. They keep their home tight because that place is a source. That is their go-to place. Regardless of what they do out there, they make sure that their home. I've seen people that you and the Duchy hanged out with back in those days who had some, you know, kind of uh, stray dog activities somewhere, even outside of Nigeria, maybe with some other Africans or wherever. When the story burst out, if you see how they tighten up their belt and try to cut off whatever just to protect their home, not because their wife is a, 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 a military officer and, and she's going to bully them or beat them up, but they know that, no, hold on, there are certain things that a man should not do. That's what they call a man. You protect your own front. You don't brag. Anyhow, if you've already told the woman, look, this is what I'm going to do, or you've shown signs of polygamy and she decides to go into it it's okay you've not deceived that whatever comes along and even if it happens along the way let's say your bloodline called you and said look this is what we do you must do it then you should go around that and speak to the woman that got into it like by accident and, and do like a human being anyway let's leave that so she came up, Judy Austin came up with this fake endorsement. I don't know who she paid. You know, when you pay someone to give you endorsement to be a brand ambassador, you know how it is. You pay someone. So she paid somebody. And the funniest part of it is this. She, she's not someone who is smart. She, she didn't think. Is this a weight loss package or a weight gain package? Like I said, weight loss is advertised by someone who is going to show us before and after or a slim person that's how it's done it's like i don't really get this thing it's not clear to me maybe you, you can help me get it clear i mean i want to understand what is this how can a plus size woman advertise weight loss when she has not used it so she decided to pay someone like any anyhow just give me something give me something now what does that tell you your leduche is getting tired Yes, Yule Duce is getting tired. You know, he's used to Petit. He has been, you know, enjoying Petit for a long time. And it was convenient for him to enjoy Petit and enjoy plus size. You know, it's okay. He wanted it that way. Like, let me enjoy Petit when I come to Lagos, when I go to Asabo Enugu, go to this, um, you know, east of Nigeria, the southeast of Nigeria. I, I would just... I please enjoy uh, the plus size with some bottle of beer and, you know, enjoy and relax. Now, he's tired. And the pressure and the way he looks at slim women whenever he goes out with Judy kind of um, prompted Judy to be like, ah, I think uh, this guy is getting, he's tired of this extra meat now he wants some slim it's, it's like this guy is trying to go back to you know Yule Duce, if he wants to look at me i mean our pictures of course it's possible for him to do it quietly and privately but since he still has that uh, polygamy thing running on his head he will pick uh, his mobile phone this is coming from people who are close. They say he will pick his mobile phone and uh, start saying, uh, look at her. She's acting like she's rich, you know, using that opportunity to scroll. But regardless of anything, women have some kind of um, special, you know, <laughs> kudos to the women. They have this special, you know, radar, like antenna that picks some, you know, coded signals. And they decode it. They know. When the guy is like, oh, look at uh, you, Leduce. Like, oh, look, at, you, Leduce, like, is doing all of those things. Obviously, Judy Austin knows inside, like, this guy wants to go back to this woman. If he has his, if he, if, if he had his way, he would. 
And of course, we discuss polygamy, polygamy, polygamy before, but now, as it has um, turned out to be, what is this? What is really going on? Jule Doche wants to return back to Judy Austin. So he's sorry to 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 me, but he 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 he, he has tried all that he is he, he has done a lot, and now he wants to use this emotional thing. Oh, remember back then how it used to be when we used to. This is what. He has started. He has. He, he, he just started this one now, trying to use several, you know, like gifts, things that he had bought in those years, and some things like that. He, he wants to use all of that to, you know, lure her, try trap her, um, make her think of him or something, and it, it, it is terrible. It is terrible that he is even thinking that <laughs> that this this will work. It, it's, it's not going to work. That's just it. Your, your story, if this story did not come out on social media, like every day, every day, maybe somehow behind the scene, things probably, we're all human beings, it's possible that maybe she was okay, I accept. Because I don't want to start going with uh, this and that. Maybe, maybe. But as it is, your story is on social media everywhere. She's not going to accept because, <laughs> in fact, if me re- accept. Yole Doche, social media will break into pieces. Yes, social me- people will, will say a lot of things to her like, no, no, you messed up. You messed up. So she will not, she will not, never want to do this. She will not want to go this route because for her, it's like all that she has acquired now, that she has worked for now. Yole Doche is just going to come in. And that's it. And moreover, it's not even like extraordinary rich. So what is it that, uh, what is it? Nothing. When he speaks, he doesn't speak with sense. People thought he had sense because of his bald head, but he doesn't have nothing. He doesn't speak like a man that is intelligent. If you listen to his um, argument and talk with uh, Judy Austin, both of them ranting, rambling, you know, whatever, even their post. Okay, let us assume that the other things are for Cruz. When he writes post, he, he, he sounds like a, like. A, a man of for the something that did not grow out of uh, you know that teenage childish thing. It, it didn't really mature. Like you know how how you 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 present certain things and at, at this time he's not supposed to be doing pepper them. He's not supposed to be doing all of those things. I'm um, tr- trying to use a uh, you know he's not supposed to look at the caption. Look at what he wrote when uh, they 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 said they are celebrating the fake endorsement. The man, uh, you know, he, 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 he's not just a wise man. At this point, he's not supposed to be doing that. He's supposed to focus on whatever he's doing and allow, you know, and caution. He's supposed to live quiet life, private life. If you want endorsement or you want to trend, you know, do it digni- in, a, in a dignified manner and um, do something that will bring people, people that will respect you. But this way, who wants to associate? With nonsense. This is not America. And in fact, things have changed also in America. Back in those days, maybe if you put out your new you will trend, you can become Kim Kardashian without talent or, or anything. You can begin to expose this and that. Things have changed. Apparently in Nigeria, regardless of anything, they still have their moral thing inside of them, the religious thing inside of them. So who wants to associate with nonsense? Who is going to put their brand on you? It's called bad business. What do you think about this one? Drop your comment. Like and share. See you in the next update.